we'll start with the mustard C49S size 8 curved caddis hook. I've got a little zonker strip which I cut to a taper like that. This makes it much more animated when it's swimming. Take a dubbing needle and we make a hole just at the front like that. If you can see that in the centre. Remove our hook. And we'll put the point through the hole, like so. Just pull it forward for the time being. Put this back in the vise. Pull that back. I've got sheer 14 aught brown and what we'll do is we'll just put a fine foundation of tying thread on here. Remove that. That'll do us to there. That's good. Then we need some uh, medium lead wire. This is 0.6mm. This is a, has to be a heavy pattern. So we just want this to go under the thorax. Break that off there. Push that up. There we are. Let's go over that loosely just to position it. We can put a little stopper at front and go up over that again. And we can bring our Zonka strip up. This is going to fish upside down. I'll turn it around, it's probably easier for me to do. That's good, that's just how we want it. Tie this in, can cut a little bit of that off. Secure it nice and tight. We can pull everything back. That's good. We take a bunch of pheasant tail fibres. I'll just move my thread forward. Right to the hook eye. A bunch of pheasant tail fibres. And what we'll do, just sort my thread out. A little bit longer than that. There we go, tie those in. Right behind the hook eye. Those are good. We can go back over the lead wire and into the marabou, the uh, zonker strip tail. Perfect. Spin our tying thread anti clockwise so we get a flat profile. And then that little strip that we had left, we put that in a petit jean clip, trim off the skin and spread it out. There 
and we can split our tying thread like so. We can take the first strip and put this in the loop and then what we can do is spread it out. Position it thinner at the lower end and then we can spin all that up Once that's spun up, we can tie in the thorax, keeping it broad at the back, thinning out as we go towards the head. Then what I do is I use a little plastic tube, is the easiest way of doing this. everything pulling down to the sides like so and then we can start at the hook eye and we work our way back to form a little head so we have room to tie in the wing case that's good and we take our pheasant tail wing case and we pull that over the top and we make two or three turns oops, don't want to take the legs in there So, and we can tear carefully, pull those up, trim them off, and we go back to the hook eye, and we start there, make our way up over the head. So, take a finisher, put a couple in there nice and tight, remove that, set our legs. And that's the strip nymph. It's uh, cracking. If you enjoy fishing with woolly buggers and leeches, this is a great pattern uh, and it fishes so beautifully. But you have to have enough weight. And once you start fishing with this, what you have to do before you start fishing with it is get it soaking wet and just squeeze out all the air that's trapped in the fur. Uh, once you've done that, it'll sink like a stone and swim absolutely beautifully. If you enjoy the videos please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.